Is it kept wash? Yes. I will put the hat on so I don't feel naked. First, salute and welcome to Patrici's Brothers RC Flying Circus. This is the channel What Captain Wash. We will try to test as many different planes as possible. Whatever plane we can get our hands on, we don't edit nothing from the day one. And of course, what this is the channel, but you can all feel at home. If you have nowhere else to go, well, come here and have fun with us. Because, in fact, this hobby is the best hobby in the world that will give you the biggest fun. And that's it. Eh? Good enough? Yes. Today we will invite you to join us here to unbox another beautiful bird eh, from the E-Flight Horizon Hobby. The sexy, amazing, iconic, I think the day Swiss iconic plane, the UA Mix Timber X. Yes. This is done by the man because in fact the Timber X, the E-Flight Timber X is the most sold plane from this collection and of course it was obvious that they must do this in the UMX version. Which in fact, I don't know. To who I can recommend this, I will do the quick recommendation. I can recommend this of course to the Spectrum lovers. Yes. Because it is in the bind and fly version, so you will have to bind it with something. And maybe with the OpenTX Open lovers, because still also OpenTX can bind to Spectrum products. Eh? Yes. 570 millimeters wingspan because don't be fooled we have checked here it says here the length 470 millimeter which of course is correct but, but this, this is, is not a, correct this is misprint it should be 570 millimeters wingspan of pure fun and i will just tell you a little bit you ask and e flight delivers the omx timber x is a scaled down ultra micro version of the extremely popular Timber X 1.2 meter and it is one of the most requested models in the E-Flight history. Good enough of the history. The point is that this will run on free sale and I can really see this. It doesn't, you also have the UMX Timber, the first one with the flaps and everything, but this one has the ailerons through the whole wing, but it also has the flap around function. So that means that this plane will be able you can even try to do some first stunts with the plane that is not too expensive. Of course, you won't learn to do stunts and I don't know what on a thousand dollar plane. Better to do it with this and that's it. And maybe we can even recommend this to some beginner pilots because it does have the option for the safe select, which means it will help you to fly. Now, since this plane is in the beautiful box, but like I have said, this box to me, don't give for a gift as socks give something like this because I can see also this as a perfect birthday gift. Now which pilot in the world wouldn't love to get a plane like this for a birthday? Yes. If you give me something like this, it's the same thing as you would give a woman a diamond ring in a small sexy box because in these small sexy boxes are small and sexy planes. Yes. Good enough. Good and we have decided, since this plane is so small, you will see that it is all assembled. We will use this time to make a video. We will also try to bind it and set it on the radio, on the unboxing video, and we will be fast. And that's it, enough of talking, Captain Bosch. Let's see this baby for the first time in all its sexiness tape. Beautiful and sexy paint job, the stickers. Oh, I just love this yellow. Oh. Of course, you have here the preparation for the optional floats. Yes. You also have here the vel Velcro needed to put it on the other side of the battery. And look how sexy it is. Packed. Packed inside and don't throw this box away because this will be the handle of your plane. This is the handle of this plane in which you, of course, after the flight, you will put it back in. And in fact, you can have this in your car all the time. And whenever you want to have little fun, just stop somewhere. Just take it out. Take the, it out and have fun with it. The plane, of course, yes. <laughs> That's what you said. But hey, we also tell you that just take it out and have fun. The timber, of course, hey. And firstly, we will see it for the first time. I mean, look at this Saxon estate. Exactly like a big one. Hey. Go with the camera around. I will show you underneath, in which you can also see the light here. Uh -huh. Now this will be something for the dust flying. Tips. You can see the light here, you have the lights on the tips, and you have the lights in the front. Eh? In the engine bay. I will flip it over, 
let's check the bottom. You can see here when you will put the, the struts for the, for the floats. You can see that the servos and everything is already pre-installed for you. You don't have to do nothing except bind it with your radio. The servos are covered and the beautiful wheels, which in fact, like I said, these wheels are actually bigger than many wheels on our bigger planes. Two 1.5 meter planes have smaller wheels. So I think that this will be also able to take off from grass. It has the beautiful sexy propeller and I will show you quickly here the compartment for the battery. It is on the magnet. You just put it out and you have here the beautiful and sexy JST connector. Now of course today for this oh, I can recommend you and you will have of course also in the description. You have shown the inside of course. Now this means hmm, the receivers on the bind and fly small OMX place, you can't reach them inside. These receivers are already preset in the factory. You don't have to do much and you can't stick your finger inside and do the bindings. So that is why the binding with this kind of planes will go in a little different way. With the, show you with the outside I button. Show you, of course, or with this outside button for the bindings and this I use for the OMX planes. It's, uh, on the planes that I cannot switch and engage the receiver for the binding procedure. Yes. Good enough. Good enough. And of course for this we will use a sexy 300 milliamp free cell amazing battery that maybe looks like a smart battery but in fact it is not. It is just done in the same color as the smart batteries but this one is just too small but don't worry you will have at least one information here on the radio, which I love the smart technology. What Captain Lush? You didn't you charge the battery again or what? Yeah, charge the battery, Captain Lush. Eh? What's with you eh, again? You are doing the flight just before this filming. Yeah, but so you much know, battery. Man, we have sucked pretty much. Eh? Before you have prepared the plane, it took us 20 minutes. Eh? Well, and we didn't do nothing. Eh? And you wouldn't even fly. Eh? I, I was. For 30 I, I, meters, eh? You were in the air for 5 meters, good enough, eh? And now we don't have the full camera charged, but I will be quick. I was just saying something. You won't be able to set yourself here the alarm for the end of the battery, but at least you will be able to hear if the battery is charged or not. And that is why I love this smart technology. Yes. So this is it. And now let's go to the procedure. I will show you quickly how to... Of course, hmm, I must also show you... Don't forget... Underneath here, you always have the instruction manual, which is the Bible, and I will tell you this, eh? <laughs> With this plane, don't be so sure that all that you know by now about uh, binding and setting these uh, smart planes will make you know it all master, because sometimes, don't forget, to read the instruction manuals because in fact on this plane in particular it's a little different way to set the plane. Like I have told you, this one doesn't have separate flaps and usually if I would have a plane like this with the big ailerons, I would set myself inside the flap ailerons, but don't be fooled, not this time. You still set this plane, one aileron, one flap and just because they have already made it computerized inside so you don't have to do nothing don't be fooled and for the first time because usually i will tell you this on the nx6 radio it has the 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 how do you call it? the secret seventh channel although this is the sixth channel radio you have the seventh channel for the safe select and usually this radio will put you that here on the b knob mm -hmm. Automatically you will have it on the B, not the safe select, but this is the first time that it is not. The safe select this time is on A, on the gear. Mm -hmm. And this is something that you must know. And I will show you now how to bind the plane and how to set it. Of course, you must follow the procedure inside. Don't think that you know all, because even I get screwed sometimes and I really need to run. Uh, 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 read letter by letter to understand what to do and I will just open it here because it is important for you to set the flaps the flap around this is the point here do you see this eh? yes there you know how to set it because I was really wondering if I have two errands 
Oh, I must set inside here the flaperons, but it is not. I will show you now. Oh, I will turn the radio on and I will show you now how to set this radio quickly so you don't have, I still have the last uh, plane inside here. If I want to get quickly to the, to the models, I just switch, press all these two buttons at the same time and I'm already here. I have now on this radio 48 <coughs> planes and I didn't have a signal problem with any, so this radio works really good. I just give this add new model, create, and just for the matter of speaking, I will leave it. It will create a model now. Now this model is called Acro, and I will just leave that name for now. I won't change it. If you want to change your name, you just go here. Do you see? This will now be the Acro plane. We will do this later. I mean, you can set your name here. I will leave it like it is. I will go back. And I will go here to the aircraft type, and this is important now. Usually I would set this plane on this. The flaperons, do you see? Yes. Because I have two ailerons, but not this time. This time you must go to one aileron and one flap, and that's it. I have turned it on this, and the tail is normal. You go back, and now this is it. You don't have to do nothing here anymore. I will go out. I will turn off the radio now. Aha, no. First, of course, not how oh, we can still set. Come here, Captain Blush. We will also set us here now the flaps. Because we have set one aileron, one flap, we must set here the flap system. Go in the flap system. Mm -hmm. Switch. We will go down on this switch because this switch is usually already preset for you in this NX radio. D is for the flaps. I select it and now I will read here. Position 0 is 0, 0. Position 1 is minus 50, so I will go to position 1. I will set minus 50 and compensate with the elevator 17%. Mm -hmm. And the position 2 is minus 100 and 27. And 27, of course. Now you can also set yourself here. It doesn't say nothing about the speed. I will leave the speed as it is. Maybe it should be normal speed because the plane is small, but you can set your seal here to slow down your flaps. And now we have it all. I can go out and that's it. Of course, you will also set here yourself the timer. I will leave it at five minutes. Set yourself everything else. This is not just so you will see how to bind and set the plane that you will have the flap runs and the safe slap working. Now I have turned the radio off and now I will first stuck the battery in. In the plane, yes. I will just uh, connect the battery and don't worry the plane will go nowhere because the, these planes don't go nowhere. Don't worry that the proper or we do something like this. And now I press this bind button and turn on the radio. Mm -hmm. Do you see binding? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Bind complete. That's it. And now we have the bind plane. Uh -huh. Of course, this is something that you see. Press the X. It shows you at least that, that we know that we don't have the charged enough battery for the flight. And now I will check. I will turn it off once more. Like this. We have now set the plane, it is bind, but still I don't think that we will have the flaps. I will bind it once more and we don't have the safe select still on it. Mm -hmm. Like this. Uh -huh. And that's it. The plane is good, it is set, but I will show you this. Uh -huh. Again, the battery. Of course, I will close it. I will show you now the sexy plane, I mean look at this. First we can see the lights. Huh? They are breathing, eh? Yeah, I mean this is unbelievable. Even the blinking lights eh, on such a small plane. Now you can already hear. Uh -huh. Do you hear this? Uh-huh. Assist. Now, this is of course just the AS3 X assist. It is not the it is the same, but I can't switch it off. Let's see. I will try to switch this is. In fact, now I have told you, 
You have the safe select also this time on this switch and you will use this switch also to set the flares. Let's just check quickly if maybe in case they are already working but I don't think so that the flaps will work now and even maybe we will be surprised because now I have the safe on. Let's check quick. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. Eh? Of course, this is already set for you. The safe select is already set for you and you've put it now in the zero position. All I have now is the safe select when I will put over 30% of rotten. Uh -huh. This is not now the safe, but this is the ASP assist for the smooth flying. If I put it like this, it doesn't want to auto-correct the plane, but if I put the safe on again, uh -huh. you see, yeah, yeah. it wants to fill the plane back. And this is why this plane is so sexy for the beginner pilot. Of course, let's also check everything else. Now, I don't have the double rates yet, I will set them later, but Left, right, up, down, left, right, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Now you see, in safe select, when you have the plane in safe select like this, now this is important, don't trim nothing. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the rudder, Captain Bar, check the rudder, do you see? Do you see what they have done? Yeah. You have a little right rudder, but do you know why? Why? Because of the torque effect on the takeoff. Uh -huh. the, the safe select is done in such a good way to take off. They compensate that torque to the left with the rudder to the right and the elevator. If you just put the full throttle, the plane will just go up and that's it and that is why. Oh, I salute the safe select. It should be on any plane even if you don't need it, but just to be there in case. Now let's just check quickly because if we have flaps or not, if we don't have them, I will show you quickly how you engage your flaps. They are already set, but they are not working yet. And they are on this stick. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but they are already working. Can you see that? Do you see? Yeah. The down elevator, which we will even see more if I switch off. Now I have switched off the AS3X and now, do you see? Yeah. And even if we have the flaps on, look, even with the flaps, yeah. you still have the ailerons working and that's, that's it. But if you want to switch yourself off the, the flaps, I will show you quickly. It's an easy way. Look, it is done in this way. Move your finger. You put the throttle down to the left corner and the right stick all the way up to the right corner yeah. and switch the gear knob for five times and it will uh, disable the flaps. Disengage. They will not work anymore. Or even if you want to disable yourself the safe select you do it the same, but on this switch, toggle five times, but put it in this position, do you see? Mm -hmm. Now it can happen that on the first time, when you will set your plane, maybe you will not have the flaps engaged and you will have to do this procedure, but you have seen it, that in fact, it's really easy to do and that's it. Huh? Should we put a little on the ground in front of the workshop? Let's check quick, eh? How this arrives. Yeah, I think there are Can cats outside there. Eh? Those cats. small cats. <laughs> I hope the cats will not try to grab it. Eh? Why don't we just go quick? Just don't film in front of the house. Eh? Mm. Like this, eh? Yeah. Let's check quick. Hey, I just want to take off with this at this moment. Eh? Hey, look at this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so this is it. Yeah. Let's go quickly back. We have seen how the baby is working. Okay, now this is unbelievable. And now my friends, we can do this a little. Now, of course, all that I need to do now is to set myself the timer. I will set it to five minutes, I will put myself the voice and of course I will also set myself here the double rates. Now how do I set the double rates? In the high rates I set myself all the travels on the plane 70% with around 15% expo 
the second rates, the low rates are 50% of travel on wool with 12% expo and the third, the lower is 100% travels with 50% expo. If nothing else, one or two stage doesn't work, with the third stage, 100% travel and 50% expo rate, oh, I can fly and get down every single plane by now. Eh? Yes. So this is it. Eh? Oh, I just love Oh, I just love this, eh? The flapper on, say, and I have heard that, on, uh, 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 that exactly on this plane they do really work, eh? Because we have tested flapper on many times by now, and oh, I don't know, eh? <coughs> on the other birds they didn't work, eh? And I can imagine that, I don't know, on some more birds, the flapper on, <laughs> that is not a good choice. But on a high wing plane, with such a big surfaces, I mean, this is something. Yes. What to tell at the end, eh? Oh, I'm impressed, eh? And this is really, really one perfect, simple, everyday flyer. When you don't want to screw with the thoughts, oh, I will break the landing gear off, eh? I didn't mow the runway. Oh, I don't have the place to fly. Well, for this, what's this? Eh? I will check me. The other information that I'm searching here now is, you know what? What? The flying weight of this, what is it? I don't know. Yeah, this is it. 147 grams. Now, what does this tell us? That, in fact, for this plane you need, you need no license. Of course, these are not toys. Even a small plane like this on the free cell. Now, I will show you how we can at least check once the full power. You will see the full power of this will be crazy. And this will be more than one to one to one ratio with the thrust on the plane and this plane will hover. Let's check it. Oh no. Right. Mm -hmm. This is a beast. Eh? Uh, like I said, this is not too easy. Still, if you fly this, don't fly there when you have 100 people around. Fly, find some solitary spot and just enjoy it. Because once you're in the air, it will be just you and the plane. Eh? And don't worry about this. With these screamings, don't be worried that there is something wrong with the with the service or something. This is just the AS3X correcting the plane every single time. Eh? So in the air you will have really sexy and smooth flights. Eh? But this doesn't mean that you cheat something. You're just having fun with the planes and when you go flying, you don't go there to prove something to anybody. You just go there for your personal fun while you still have time and while you're still alive and that's it. Hey, and I think that Captain Blush, this will be one beautiful unboxing video. How long I was? Was I sure? No, I don't know. Tell me quick, what did they say? 25 minutes. This is sick. Hey. Even with the plane like this, we have 25 minutes, but I think that I can give you good information how to set this plane. Because even the smooth planes can have, you can have troubles with them. Eh? So this, this is it? Is it eh? Yes. By the property captain, one signing of the is beautiful and sexy, amazing. I mean, look how sexy this is. The Timber X, the UMX version that we run on free cell, and that has it all eh? This is the promise of the perfect, every single day screw around plane, and this is something I could admire. Eh? Of course, you will have the link below. Thanks for all support, for visiting our channel, for all comments, for subscriptions, for going to our t-shirt stores, for your donations, and of course for buying for this kind of links. Because if you buy for this kind of links, that means that you support me and Captain Marsh, the hardcore amateur pilot brothers from Small Town Slovenia that wants to fill as many as possible while we're alive. Yes. This is the Captain can quick! Because I want to fly this plane as soon as possible. Of course, we love you all and cut quickly.